What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Really quick post-fight reaction review from Sean Porter versus Bonet. Now, I'm going to be honest with it. I wasn't all too impressed with Sean Porter's performance. I thought he did what he had to do to get the job done. He was able to secure a TKO victory or a knockout. Um, he did get the stoppage, but the way i seen it is his opponent slipped, and it looked like he slipped, and as a result... He pulled something because he's grimacing in pain as he hit the canvas from a slip. And from that moment, I knew he was debilitated, like something was wrong. Like if you think of Sergio Martinez versus Chavez Jr. or versus uh, Miguel Cotto, how Sergio Martinez, you could tell he wasn't standing. I mean, Miguel Cotto did his thing, but you could tell he wasn't standing on two solid feet. And, and that's kind of what it was with uh, Bonet. And see, the other thing is Bonet was actually landing shots and to my knowledge from just like looking at box rec and uh doing a little bit of research on the opponent last minute he, he's not much of a puncher and sean porter was looking rough around the edges to me he was getting touched up with some counter shots and this is from a guy who didn't have really much power to really rock him so i think the loss to kel brook um has taken him back a little bit in terms of the confidence department because I, li I, I literally like his performance with uh, Devin Alexander and Pauli Malignaggi, probably the best for him. I thought he looked good, even in the Julio Diaz rematch. But this particular one, he seemed like he didn't seem like the same tank. He, he has like wild aggression. And I, um, a while ago, some people were saying he would beat Floyd Mayweather. I just can't see it, man. Like some people were saying he Sean Porter's the one. He just looks sloppy at times and wild. And he looks so gung-ho to the point where it, it hurts his accuracy. Now, I think his style could be a problem for anyone who's not in shape, who's not conditioned to go 12 rounds and things like that based on the fact that, you know what I mean, you have to deal with some heavy shots and his come forward with aggression. But I think a counterpuncher with power would give him severe problems and that's because he he kind of falls in and, and smothers his own work and it's like he's so aggressive to get his shots out that he, he gets kind of reckless in there and i thought that was something they were working on to to include a little bit more of the boxing ability now before this fight i was leaning towards sean porter beating juan manuel marquez just because marquez is a bit older and um, I think he's small for the welterweight division. I was thinking like Porter would beat him. Now, this fight is a closer fight between Porter and Marquez because Marquez has some pop. You've seen him stop Pacquiao. Um, he hurt and dropped Mike Alvarado, who looked like he trained for that particular fight. I don't know. I just, I think it's a closer fight because Marquez is a hell of a counter puncher and Porter looks mad sloppy at times. But props to Team Porter. They, they got a win in the win column. Uh, Spike TV didn't listen to my report card. They still came out in that funny way. I'm about to watch the main event. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the co-main event. Make sure you like my videos. Always hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.